gamers, Stogie here, and today I'm bringing you guys another Battlefield 4 gameplay video from the PlayStation 4. And in today's video, we will be reviewing and discussing how to use the QBS-09 automatic shotgun, or semi-automatic shotgun, I should say. This thing's, um, it can be a beast, and it can be quite the challenge. If you guys remember back in beta, I actually did a guide review for this. Um, so what I wanted to do was kind of discuss this gun again because when I discussed it in beta it was based around domination so what you can see here is I'm playing some op locker uh, 64 player conquest large and this plays a little bit different than domination but because it's so close quarters it's not that different um, what I want to discuss is some strategies and basic ideas when using this gun how you can be successful so you're gonna see two games uh, this is op locker and the second one's gonna be some, from Zavad 311 and in both games I go MVP and get a lot of kills I die a decent amount but it, you know you're gonna do that when you're using a close quarters gun that does not have that much ammo uh, but I do get MVP in both games so I thought it was pretty interesting because I think these were the first two full games where I actually used this gun and I think I was like level 50 or so. I don't know. I was progressed through the game quite a bit before I said, you know, I got to return to the shotguns and start giving them a shot. So um, in this video, yeah, QBS 09 and coming shortly after you're going to have the Remington 870 and they're kind of like polar opposites. So what do you want to focus on when using this gun? So the QBS 09 only has six rounds loaded in it. The number one thing I'm going to tell you to focus on, and I fail a lot on in these gameplays because this is kind of my first rodeo with it, but after watching the gameplays and playing a little bit with it, I can tell you for a fact, you want to try to leave one, one shotgun shell in the gun. You don't want to run this thing down to zero because you're going to see when I run this thing down to zero, he does like a little flip reload where he lo reloads uh, a long reload one shell on the right side and then puts the other five shells in on the other side. It's really really long and it's gonna get you killed the second tip I'm gonna give you for running this has nothing to do with the loadout on the shotgun at all so there's the long right side load and then here's the under under load of the other five shell and that is use a good secondary use something that has plenty of ammo that's gonna deal a decent amount of damage that say if you get a shot or two into somebody you can finish them off with one shot so in this gameplay you're gonna see me using the p226 suppressed with the ghost ring and a laser sight and I call that the James Bond loadout. The P226, the Sig Sauer with the suppressor on it is freaking awesome in this game, dude. I love it. It feels like you land more shots with the suppressor on it too. So if you haven't tried it with the suppressor, it's kind of like a sidetrack. But yeah, definitely try it. Back to the QBS. I would recommend running the laser sight. And then outside of that, there's not a whole lot that's going to help this gun perform drastically better. Um, you basically have to make a choice. You have to make a choice of what what kind of shell you want to put in here so your choices are the regular rounds frag rounds flechette and slugs so you got to decide how you want to play with this so basically buckshot's going to give you a higher damage up front but it's also going to give you a greater drop off so here you can see look at my score 12,200 compared to i think the next closest was like 4,000 to me so just shredding people in op locker you, and that's that's what you can expect you want to run flanks and shoot people in the back but anyway back to the rounds yeah the the buckshot is it's going to drop off sooner than the flechette but it's going to have a higher damage up close which is in my opinion if you're using this weapon correctly 90 percent of the engagements you're going to have are going to be up close so i highly recommend just sticking with the buckshot if you want to know the difference the flechette kind of has more range to it and actually shoots through that defensive perk upgrade uh, but in my in my experience, you're going to take two shots to kill somebody anyway, so you might as well just use the buckshot. The other thing I noticed about this gun is that it can be a little bit wonky in close quarters. Like right there, didn't it look like I blasted that guy right in the back twice? And then I still had to finish him off with a pistol shot. I've, I've been using the 870 a lot after this gun, and I can tell you the hit detection and the one-shot capability of the 870, it's, it's off the charts, man. It is so good. But this gun sometimes... Feels a little bit wonky, and you're gonna after I heal up, you're gonna see it here again in a minute. I go after this guy up here at the tank and kind of just trace shot him to the left, and it's like I almost did no damage to the guy, and I and I pull out my pistol and just wreck him after that. So look at this, I'm like shooting him in close quarters, and I gotta finish him with the pistol, and then I take two more guys out with the pistol because I w couldn't reload my shotgun because I'm out of six rounds, and it would take me, you know, however long, like ten seconds to reload that thing. So again, this is why I say you have to have a good secondary with this setup. So why run this gun? 
I guess you might say. I mean, you're going to look at the other shotguns and be like, this gun is really, you know, why would you run this? Well, first off, it's because it's the first shotgun you're going to get. So you kind of need to use it to unlock the other shotguns. Chances are you're not going to have the Shorty 12G unlocked because you can use that. It's considered a pistol or a sidearm. Um, you can use that to level up the shotguns, but chances are you're not going to have that before you're going to, say, use this gun to get the 870. So number one, you're going to try to, you're going to use it for that reason. Number two, if you're not comfortable with accurate one shots, so if you're, if you're not able to just get your aim right on, right up front, you want to use this, you want to use this weapon to get used to shotguns. So this will definitely help you get used to shotguns because you can spam it a little bit. Um, and again, it's the first one you unlock, so it's going to be the one you're going to try. Why would you use this after you lock the, unlock the 870? Um, primarily, I would say, as a challenge because the 870, guns like the 870 and the SPAS are just going to highly outperform this weapon overall, um, and they still have pretty decent fire rates. So uh, use this gun, get used to shotguns, and then you're probably going to move on from it. That would be my, my opinion. But if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you later. Another MVP, by the way.